Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports and subscribers. What's going on, guys? Now, the article came out on BattleOfHook.com. I'll leave it for you guys in the description. But basically, at age 27, at fresh off of just capturing the IBF title, his first you know world title in his career, Anthony Joshua is already talking about retiring, and he said that in this article. He's trying to retire with um. Within the next, like, you know, basically five, five years from now. So he's 27 now. If that was to go, if everything was to go as planned and he retired, he would retire at the age of 32, which I feel is a good age in boxing because your body begins to go south at 30. And I feel, at least for Joshua, you know, that at, um, that, that, that's a good age to get out if his, his faculties are in check, um, if his finances are in order, you know, because especially in heavyweight division, that you get punched off real quickly in heavyweight division. So, that being said, here's what he said. I quote, I can finish in five years provided everything goes to plan. 100% I can walk away from boxing now. It's all about being happy, and I am happy. As long as I'm happy, that's all that matters. I don't do it for the money. I don't do it for the glory nights. Um, and that's what it is, man. So let me first let me first say a couple of things because a lot of people might say, well, he just got the title. Why, why, why would he think about retiring? And look, you guys gotta understand. For those of you who may not understand why Josh was already talking about this, um, boxing is wearing tear on the body. You know, you guys can see that there's a picture of Riddick Bo right behind me. Riddick Bo is a close personal friend. I love Riddick Bo. Um, in fact, to be honest with you guys, I, I, he called me. The, I'm supposed to actually call Riddick Bo soon, so I'm glad I kind of just mentioned him. But I, I gotta call him soon. But anyway, um. Anthony Josh, we, we, look at, we look at some of the, like, like Riddick Bo, all the talent in the world, blue chip talent, you know, could you know, had, was the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, one of the baddest men on the planet at one point in time, and he made millions of dollars fighting, um, and you guys can see now from my interviews with him, a lot of you guys go comment, you know, he's, he's punch drunk and, 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 and um, you know, he, we know financially he's probably not in the best situation right now. So, Anthony Joshua doesn't want to subject, subject himself to brain damage and, you know, not being able to enjoy the money he's made in boxing. Now, if he's smart and he manage, manages it correctly, he'll be set for life. But I think it's smart. I think it's good to think about these things because as much as fighters want to think that they're Superman and that they're going to be young forever, the fact of the matter is you're not going to be young forever. And you guys start thinking about these things and... You know, credit to Joshua for thinking thinking about this early because you don't want to be 35 with no money in the bank and and, and, and a bunch of um, brain damage to show for it. These fighters put their mind, their will, and the emotions on the line in training camp uh, to make weight, to get in that ring, to fight for the titles, to fight for the glory, to entertain us, the fans, and for them to leave this sport with nothing but brain damage to show for it, it breaks my heart, and I'm glad that Anthony Joshua was thinking about this so he doesn't wind up as another cautionary tale of someone who was at the top but has nothing to show for it. So that's what it is. Anthony Joshua already talking about retiring in five years. Good on him if he can do it. Um, let me know what you guys think. Too early too, too early to talk about? Uh, too early in general when retiring? Let, let, me know, let me know in the comments down below. Take the time to subscribe, and you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniels. So until next time, take care, guys.